I want to I wanted to share an Afghan snack that's very popular um, all all year long, especially during the winter. Um, and this is called Nachota um, um, Nachot. Um, it's also what we do is basically um, uh, there's there's variation of this snack that's used in Afghanistan. These are um, uh, mulberries. There's a, I'm gonna add, uh, add a link for the video on how this is um, um, picked from the trees. Basically, um, they take a huge long sheet um, of that four people holds it from uh, four sides. Sometimes it's six people, uh, one in the middle too, and then one person that goes on the tree. And then they just uh, shake the branches of, of the tree to get these berries. So after they get it in the uh, cloth and they take it out and wash it. And then they put them in trays and they put them in the sun and dries them. So this is the dried um, mulberries. These are the red colorful ones. So it becomes dark, you know, with the sun. Um, they're delicious when it's fresh. Um, and... Um, there's also, um, uh, so they mix this with walnuts. That's one version. Another version of this with uh, roasted chickpeas, which is the yellow ones. Uh, so that's nakhut, the chickpeas, and this is uh, tut, which is the uh, mulberries. We, we say um, tut, which is berry, but they're different versions. So I just mixed both of these. I um, got this from an Indian grocery store. You can also get it from, you know, halal supermarkets. This is dry black mulberry, and it was uh, three and a half bucks for um, 200 gram or seven ounce. Um, you probably could find it online as well. And this is the uh, roasted chickpeas. Um, they have them with the skin, without the skin. I like them clean, you know, because then you have to mess with the skin. It's called roasted dahlia whole. So uh, what you do is you just basically very easy to make the snack you mix it up you can add almonds in it if you wanted to or walnuts as well i just like the combination so basically just put some of this you know i just cut the uh the side of it usually it's like a uh, two ratio of the uh chickpeas and one ratio of the uh mulberries so once you do that um and then, and then you put the um, the mulberries in there, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this. Not much left. This is a great snack, you know, when we're watching a movie. It's healthy. Doesn't have uh, oils. Uh, of course, it has calories. But um, let me check out to give you guys a, a calorie information too. But basically, you just do this. You can use your hands to mix it. Um, and um, you can have it with tea. Um, that's how we do it, with tea. And um, it's good to have, you know, keep some in your car, you're driving if you get hungry. Uh, so, just calorie-wise, it says... Uh, um, one third of a cup, uh, see, I'm one person, calorie, 100, 110 calories, it says, you can see over this, it's 110 calories for one third of a cup, so uh, I guess it has, I, I was surprised, it has more calories, but it's the, the this is the, those the chickpeas, now this one, the um, dry black mulberry, is um, wow, they don't have information on the uh, calories, but you can look it up. So, the thing you have to be careful that if when you buy things from halal supermarkets or Indian grocery stores, they're not following the rules of uh, the state basically, you cannot return anything. Uh, so once it's bought, it's bought, and they have signs and no returns. 
so they're doing it like their country, and even though they're living in the United States, which is which is wrong, but they're getting away with it. So somebody has to come up with a law that says that if they're not happy with the product, they don't like it, they should be able to return it. But anyway, I hope you guys try this um, Afghan snack, um, which is called Tuta Nakhat. Tuta is the berry, Nakhat is the uh, roasted chickpeas. And um, bon appetit. Uh, thank you so much for watching my channel. You all have a great day. Bye-bye.